Shingo Yoshida is a Japanese interdisciplinary visual artist with focus on video and installation. Yoshida has been traveling around the world for his projects since the beginning of his career. His interest lies on in examining micro-communities as a way to understand the rules of how global society works. In doing so, he discovers how humble our existence is in comparison to the omnipotence of nature. His works always evoke a connection between human and environment. For this exhibition, he presents a dystopian video installation portraying an abandoned area of the Chilean suburban landscape. The only ones to be seen in this post-apocalyptic scenery are gypsy communities and stray dogs that safeguard the area from trespassers. A thick atmosphere surrounds this no man's land. The atmospheric sounds from the battle arrangement increases the suspense of this deserted settlement, transmitting a sense of eerie discomfort. Heinrich Sakainski's works are sculptural and relief-like depictions of urban settlements and other world industrial sites marked by destruction. Sakainski's works are often fused with impressions from his own travels, primarily in Southeast Asia, and translate the often negative excesses of our globalized and increasingly urbanized world. His works were massive sculptural wall pieces created with extreme detail and a unique artistic language. In this exhibition, he presents a 4.3 meter long sculptural painting depicting a slum city from a bird's eye perspective. With its detailed hand-carved miniature houses and architectural elements, Sakainsky's works show the balance between destruction and beauty, disorder and hope. A master in the visuals of post-apocalyptic landscapes, his works are statements for the age of the Anthropocene. Here we see the huge installation by Nadine Baldo. Baldo is primarily concerned with the complex relationship between culture and nature and their constant mutual influence. In an effort to understand these relationships, she challenges the boundary between man-made and natural by creating imposing installations that look like fungi colonies. For this exhibition, she has created an immersive cell structure that seems to devour the walls around it. In this work, questions of mutation, toxicity and contagiousness arise. The work is claiming the room for itself and keeps spreading without limits, thus weakening the illusion that humans can keep nature under their control. Jazzo Yang's work is primarily concerned with the transformation of cityscapes due to gentrification. By gathering remnants of buildings, houses and places of cultural importance, she reinterprets cultural heritage and memory. On the other hand, she is challenging gentrification practices by treating remains as living organisms worth to be preserved with reverence for the future generations. Pieces of plaster, scraps of wallpaper from interiors, remains of antique tiles, they all go into resin to form new construction plates that can be used to introduce new architectural models. Thank you. 
By transforming these findings into sculptures, memory is retained as an artistic narrative that's contributing to the preservation of cultural identity. Kai Löffelbein is a photographer and installation artist. In this exhibition, Löffelbein presents one of his most impressive works, Control X, the topography of e-waste, in which he explores the uncomfortable subject of electronic waste. He has worked in long-term projects investigating the effects of socio-political and economical actions on the population and the environment. Löffelbein photographs the high footprint that the waste has in its reception countries. The waste is illegally transported there to avoid expensive recycling processes in the West. The work dramatically documents the devastated, contaminated landscapes that are left behind. <laughs>